Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on Entei in Pokemon Colosseum. And this goes for any Pokemon obtainable in Mount Battle in terms of uh, the Shadow Pokemon you find there. Um, and before the video starts, I want to thank Drewski from my Discord uh, for giving me this save file. Um, and doing a little bit of the work to figure this out with me, so I just want to thank him for that. So before we get started, all you're going to need is a GameCube or Wii. Um, and if you're using the Wii, um, so first of all, I suggest I, I don't use a Wiimote. I use a um, like a classic controller with an analog stick because that lets you move the cursor with an analog stick, which is super helpful. I prefer the Wii to the GameCube uh, because the Wii lets you. Um, I find that my seat is just more consistent on the Wii. That's all. Um, you're going to need Eon Timer, as usual, set it to the 3rd gen tab, set Calibration to 0, Target Frame to 0, and Pre-Timer to 20,000. I prefer Eon Timer for this. All you actually need is a timer with 20 seconds on it. That's all you need there. You're going to need XD Seed, as usual, and XD Pokemon, as usual. Um, you could also use, you know, XD Check to find, like, a really crazy spread if you're, you know, really into that. Um, this is a more advanced guide, so before you watch this one, I would suggest watching one of my other guides on, uh, Coliseum or XD. Or not XD. I haven't done any XD. I don't know why I said that. But are on Coliseum. So make sure the date and time is set to 1-1-2000. And um, set the time to 0. Um, now for my other, you know, Coliseum videos and whatnot, just check out the, 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 the normal Shadow Pokemon guide, which will have no advancements. Uh, and um, you could also check out the Snagum Hideout guide. Because I think this actually is a little bit easier than that, but they operate under the same uh, circumstances. Um, hmm. Anything else? Oh yeah, all programs and stuff will be in the description as well, of course. So, anyway. Um, I'm going to open up your Eon Timer. Hit Start at the same time you confirm the date and time. And back out and get to the main... And I didn't even, <laughs> of course. Sometimes uh, I like hit the, the Start button too fast. That's fine. So what we're going to be doing here is there's some minor frame advancements from NPCs in Mount Battle. And what we're going to be doing here is figuring out how many times on average um, uh, NPCs are able to frame advance in Mount Battle uh, while we're kind of walking through it um, to figure out uh, on average how many frames get advanced so we can just use that to jump. So what I mean by that is... Um, Where's my GameCube controller? So what I mean by that is, um, um, on average, the NPCs will move and cause some frame advancements, and we want the frame advancements that happen the most. So let's say we hit five frame advancements the most, like, you know, four out of five times, uh, four frame advancements will occur. We have to use that to, like, kind of plug it into our formula to make sure uh, we account for that when we're aiming for a specific frame. So what we're going to do is find our seed like normal. Um, my seed value lately has been a little bit wider than it used to, but I think that's because I took a break and I'm a little less consistent, but I've been going around here. So just do this again. Watch my How to Find Your Seed video if you haven't already, okay? So, going to battle now. Oh, uh, let me think. It's the best way to do this. I have to shrink this screen a little bit. All right. So, Seth, Ente. Seth, Suicune, uh, Wes, Raikou, Wes, Metagross, and like I said, I'm not going to be explaining this, you have to kind of watch my seed finding video for yourself, Thomas, Metagross, um, translated pictures of this program will also be in the description by the way, and they are in the other video as well, okay, Seth, Raikou and search and then I'll come back when we've got something Okay, so I've got my um, Initial seed here and I'm gonna copy my current seed Into XD Pokemon and I'm gonna get set up for the whole RNG process. So Set this to Coliseum um, You don't need to do your trainer ID and your ID just yet um, uh, Set it to this tab here, so it's like my Pokemon we have to find Entei in here. He should be pretty easy to find because he's on this thing, so I know. And his name is just... If you can read uh, 
Katakana, his name is just, it's right here. It's just Entei. <laughs> it's the same thing. And I actually don't know what level you capture Entei at, so I won't do that just yet. And uh, now we're going to get into the game. Okay, so in Colosseum, what you're going to do is just get out of here. And continue the game. And you're going to run into, um, into Mount Battle as fast as possible. So, oof. So two people just, like, I saw them both, those are the only people who move typically, and I just saw them both take steps. And so, we'll see. But all you gotta do is get to Dakeem now, and uh, get into a battle. Now, it's uh, something to note here, for brevity, um, this, so, like I said, this is not my actual save file, um, uh, Drewski on my Discord sent it to me, and what I've done is I've hacked a Master Ball into his save file, just so I could make the video quicker. Normally, you won't have a Master Ball at this point for Ante. So, I think it's it's pretty important to have, like, a good capture plan to be able to capture Entei very quickly. Um, especially when normally that's not going to be the case. So. Um, oh, I didn't even think about this. It's also probably important to make sure you don't have a uh, full team, but I think I do. Because uh, if you have a full, t if you don't have a full team, um, you'll be able to just capture Entei immediately, and that's it, you know. Okay, and he also doesn't start out with uh, Entei as well. That's interesting. So, I have to double check if I have a full team. I didn't even check. I didn't even think to check. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, I have a full team. I think typically it's best to make sure you don't have that happen, so that's okay. I'll probably cut out the whole battle and get to when I uh, when I capture it. Alright, so Ente is captured, and I have to just move it along to the um, to the PC storage system. Okay, so I'm back in the center now, and I'm just going to check my Ente stats and such. So, Ente's level 40, so we'll change that. Um, now, if you really want, if in case you get multiple results, you can use the time flu you just got to check its nature to make absolute sure um, that you have the correct Ente, but you'll probably only get one result. And so type in all of your stats, it's HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. I don't know why it's A, B, C, D, S, but whatever. So it seems as though 12 frames advanced. Okay, so what I like to do is do like a... Um, uh, I just open up a little text document on my computer. And I write down 12. Like I'll write down the, the advancements and then we'll give it a go again. And we'll see, but first I'm going to reset and <laughs> make sure um, my team is ready for next time. So what I'll say is, the process I just did, you have to do around, you know, a, a few more times at the very least. I would say like, for Entei specifically, because there's such a low frame advancement, I would recommend probably at least five attempts. But you could probably get lucky and, you know, get less than that. So, um... Go into these settings. Um, so I'm going to show the process one more time, and then I'll show at the end how many you know times I decided uh, to do. So, doing this, oops, and we just do the start. So, like I said, I'm going to show the entire process once more, and uh, then we will. Um, then I'll just do a few tests on my own before um before actually doing the final attempt okay and we have to just find our seed again so for the seed finding process um i can't the thing is i've been hitting some 40s so i i have to end up aiming for this one uh, this is just the clear button so you can redo the seed process uh, from scratch again <clears throat> if 
battle now. Uh, it's Wes and Raikou. Seth, Raikou. Wes, Raikou. A lot of Raikous. Seth, Heracross. Uh, Wes, Herac Heracross. Seth, Raikou. Seth, Metagross. And one more. Wes, Raikou. Man, actually a lot of Raikou. And so I'll pause and I'll be back. Okay, I've got my um, initial and current seed here, so I'll paste that over to the Entei, and uh, I'll cut to a cleaner feed of the video. Okay, so we are in uh, on or on our second uh, Entei attempt, and this will be the last uh, attempt I record before going for my you know fin uh, f uh, final attempt. So here we go. So they both moved again. That could be twelve. That could be ten. Not sure. You know, you can't really judge those kinds of, um, you can't really judge those kinds of movements on your own, I'd say. Uh, luckily, I've adjusted my team and stuff, so I have a slot open. And so, like I was saying, it's important to keep a slot open because you can catch the Entei right away <clears throat> and then not have to, like, watch all the cutscene crap afterwards, which is pretty important. And I, I uh, stick by that method for any, um, wow, uh, for any, uh, any shadow Pokemon you're going for. Also, um, um, you don't have to worry about your steps and movements too much in uh, around going up to number 10 in Mount Battle because, um, let me think, there's no like NPC movement or anything along those lines. So, I think this is a funny cutscene. So there's no NPC movements while you're walking about Mount Battle. So while you don't have to go quick, and I, I do encourage you to you know be precise with your movement and you know not go super slow or anything, but uh, you know. You don't really need to, like, rush or be super precise with the movement, is what I'm saying. So we just have to catch the Entei again. <clears throat> and now I've got, like, a pretty decent strategy down for Dakim as well. Um, because he's, like, he's probably going to protect with Golem and... Oh, he's... You know what? This is interesting. I didn't know he switched his Pokémon like this. Uh, regardless, Camerupt's probably going to, um... Camerupt's probably going to protect here. Wow, that's so interesting. I had no idea he did this. Um, because last time, if you recall, he led with a golem instead. And, like I said, I have the Master Ball much earlier. Um, so. You know, normally you would... It would require a bit more planning to be able to capture Entei. It should be pretty difficult to catch, but still. Um, like I said, just for brevity of the video. <laughs> so I don't have to spend a huge amount of time, you know, capturing Entei for every, uh... Um... Every second. Let's see here. Oop, uh, sorry. So I'll, uh, I'll switch back to the other mode, actually. Okay, so we're going to check the Pokemon. So check into his summary here. Oh, nope, 144. 109, 84, 71, 9, 90. And Calc. We got six that time, so we got way, way less. So again, we put it here, literally half... Half the amount of movement, so I'll uh, I'll be doing a few more test runs, and then we'll see uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay, so um, I am ready to do my final pass at the Entei, so I'm gonna actually at attempt to go for a shiny this time around. Um, I've been consistently getting about 10 frame advancement, so we'll see if I can. Oops, get that uh, uh, down. So, we're going to do the, get our Eon Timer out, and go for it. Do the usual setup situation. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> you know, most of them seem to be pretty good, I would say. Oof, I was really late there. Alright. I may just do a clear here. Get all this out of the way. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I gotta shrink this down or else I won't be able to see anything. Sorry about that. Okay. Alright, Thomas Blaziken. That's not one I feel. I feel like I don't get that one often. Wes. Suicune. Wes. Entei. Wes. Hammercross. Wes. Suicune. Seth Meganium, Thomas Metagross, Seth Sweetcoon, and search and pause. Okay, with seed found, we will um, you know continue over to the other view. Okay, so like usual, once you find your seed, you're just gonna copy it into XD Pokemon uh, and paste it there. Make sure to type in your secret ID and your regular ID. Hit check for shiny only, and then uh, just search for the spread you like. Um, for me, I was fine going with the first spread that appeared. It was a... Oh man, I want to say it was a special attack inducing nature, which is fine for Entei in the third gen. I mean, he's not really the best Pokemon no matter what you're doing, so it doesn't matter. Um, so what you're going to do is copy your seed and take note of how many frames you have to advance and paste it there. So I'm pasting my seed here and then how many frames uh, frames I have to advance. I'm going to subtract it by the average amount I've been getting less than. Um, and so instead of you know three four zero six, I do three four zero zero. I'm just going to do my search, and I'm going to do these commands to advance with a 40 frame remainder. Um, remember, in this area, you're advancing with only a remainder of 20 left because. Um, you can't use the Shadow Pokemon menu to advance, because um, that would be in the overworld. So you need to have a remainder of 20, which is using uh, the Rumble function from the GameCube controller here. And uh, so I'm just going to do that twice. And then we move on to the, um, to the actual game. Okay, so... <laughs> This music, this music warp at the beginning gets me every time. I don't know what happened to my capture card. If, I think it was because my hard drive is slow. Anyway, I have a little bit of a double speed going on here as I am climbing up Mount Battle because I don't want to waste time. Um, so anyway, as I said, you just go up Mount Battle with brevity, but there's no real worry of frames advancing here, um, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I saw the two NPCs in the Pokemon Center, which are really your only sources of frame advancement. Um, I saw them take their usual steps, so I think... Uh, I have a safe idea of how many frames that tend to advance here. Um, and once the battle with Dakim starts, or Dakim, I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm thinking Dakim. Um, just gonna cut to when I catch the Entei to prove that uh, this method kind of works to get the shiny going on. Um, yeah. Okay, so just got to Entei. This was like a really close battle. I I barely was able to win. I don't know what happened. Usually I beat him like no problem, but I let my like Espeon die really fast and then I almost lost all of my Pokemon <laughs> to this guy's team. In fact, uh, uh, as you can see it's shiny here and it, uh, the shiny looks really cool um, in this game with the... I don't know, it just looks really good, that's all. <laughs> Um, and I have to send it out, and as Mantine dies, basically. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this was really simple. There's only the two NPCs you really have to worry about, and if you keep consistent with your movement, they'll never take more than, you know, one step each, which is, you know, anywhere from six to ten frame advancements in total, probably. Um, so, this was a really easy to one to get down. I would say every Pokemon in Mount Battle is probably completely uh, viable to attempt to get a Shiny 4 or RNG 4 in general. Um, anyway, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave them down below, and I'll see you next video.